Good morning. It's Saturday morning, January the 30th, 2021. And I'm glad to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. In Matthew chapter 21, it, it, it's a little bit incongruous. Just as soon as Christ finished this this cleansing of the temple, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 21, verse 14, the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. And just as soon as this moment of righteous indignation was passed, immediately people began to flock around him, apparently, with their infirmities to be healed of the Lord. And the very next verse says in verse 15, when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did and the children crying in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were sore displeased. The people, the leader, the religious leaders did not like it at all. The Lord was being praised and he was drawing attention to himself with his healing of the sick and those that had infirmities and he was being glorified and the and the leaders of the temple did not like it the religious leaders were sore displeased and the simple reason was that they wanted the attention for themselves and anything that christ would do to draw attention toward the lord or to give god the glory would be less glory that they would receive and less honor and respect that they would be given in their particular religious positioning, and they were displeased by that. But I just see the Lord's compassion here. As soon as he chased the money changers out of the temple, then immediately he turned toward those who had a need, and he began to minister to them. He wasn't carried away with his temper. He wasn't enraged by what was going on there. He very quickly turned around and began to show love and concern for those who had definite physical and spiritual needs. And what a blessing we have such a Savior as that. Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest to your souls. And here is the Lord giving comfort to those who have a need, and promising them rest if they would just come to him. Well, he was giving people physical rest here, healing them of their infirmities and their diseases, but he offers even more important than that, spiritual rest. And the Bible says that Christ is gracious and he is kind and compassionate and is moved with the feelings of our infirmities. Hebrews chapter 4 states that we don't have a high priest who cannot be moved with the feelings of our infirmities. He was tempted at all points like as we are, yet without sin. And so therefore we should come boldly to the throne of grace and seek God's help. Just as these people came to the Lord, uh, just they, they almost appeared out of the woodwork as it were. They just came from all areas seeking the Lord and asking for his help because they needed to be healed. And we find ourselves in the same situation. We find ourselves in need many times, and the Lord welcomes people to come to him. He does care. What a blessing. We sing the song, Does Jesus Care? When my heart is pain too deeply for mirth and song, and the song goes on, and the chorus says, Oh, yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief. What a blessing that we have a Savior who really does care about people. He cares about you, friend. Be encouraged with that great truth. God bless you today.